Welcome back team. You are gaming with a colonel and this is a Twilight Struggle ITSL match versus Nicola. He is a 200 point favorite and we are off. Very fun. Okay, so not bad. Not bad at all. Um, we have defectors. We have red scare. Uh, our points are low. <clears throat> so I think we will play Red Scare. Just keep his coups down. What do you guys think? On the other hand, we don't have any of his cards in my hand. So defectors might be good. So there's socialists and multiple other cards out there. So I think I need to defector this. If I had a truck ton of, uh, well, Nasser is fine. Maybe I should have played uh, Red Scare. <coughs> Let's see what happens. <coughs> I'm gonna try to hold that one. <clears throat> Let's see what uh, what we can do. It's always the question: Where's the coup first, right? There it comes, and he is victorious with a four. All right, well, we can't have him just screaming in everywhere, but. I wouldn't mind scoring Europe. Let's get on in here. I doubt he has Europe scoring as he did not. Um, as he put down Nasser to start. I would love to get lucky here and get Pakistan. We'll see what happens. Let's see what let's see what the play is. Nikola is from the Czech Republic, I believe, um, and this is an ITSL 90-minute match. He is GMT plus something. I think we have a seven-hour time difference. Maybe eight, eight, eight hour time difference. He might be a GMT plus one. All right, so he's gonna play most of his. Playing three. Two and again. That actually works out great. I'm gonna go ahead and score this. Wait, can't just score it. We got to come up in here now. Um, got to come on up in here. Hmm. If I do this, could do that next turn too and just go ahead and take the points, right? Just take the points. Points are points. Points are points. That's going to be the last card we play. 
that's a six. So we got three, four, five, six. So we got to figure out how to play them. I'm okay with Truman doctoring this turn just because I've scored Europe, so. All right, he's going to coup again. I wanted all those coups. All right, let's get up on into. Uh, we're definitely going to go hit another one in France here, and we're going to move up one into here. Oh, that was probably a mistake. I probably should have went to Lebanon. Let's not forget about Middle East. Hmm. At this point, I could try to, try to draw a card out from him with five-year plan, but I don't think I'm going to do that. He would have to play the China card then. Five-year plan, and if you have five-year plan and the China card and the opponent has CIA, then there's always that problem. I lost on that recently, if you will recall on the channel. I think it was uh, against uh, Michael. Just uh, wasn't tracking it. Was not tracking it. I don't think I can afford to do that here. I think uh, I need to hold red scare and play that next turn. Instead of holding five-year plan. There's the China card. Of course. All right, so let's go ahead and get in here. And here. Then I've got to play Pakistan. That could save me two victory points by using it. Probably a good play, just to go on Pakistan for, for giggles if he goes there. Um, it's definitely my next play either way. Okay, he's playing that as a, that's that's going to work out for me. All right, so that would require me now to get a six, I think. Not only on a six, but it's two victory points. Um, I don't know that that's worth it at this point. Let me uh, go. Here and here to stop Asia scoring. There we go. So if you have Asia scoring, you may play it now. There it is. It's a good thing I did that. <laughs> That was only two points for him. I will trigger this. I will throw one in here and one. Here. As Middle East has not yet scored.
that looking good. He gets his uh, two points, so it's suboptimal. All right, I sh could go Marshall Plan here. That's got to get spaced or held. Let's do this. So, <clears throat> don't really want to play this one until after. Until after. So he's got no good coups at this point. But he's also not outside of the Middle East. This is repairable. But I'm also going to wait for um, blockade. So I've got. This is the least worst. I want to blockade that one if I can. <laughs> we'll probably play that one. We're going to have to take Burma just to ensure that we do not lose uh, Asia domination in the future. But for now, we need to worry about the Middle East. Two more victory points for him. Swings that back in the other direction. <clears throat> if I were him, I'd go ahead and coup South Africa. Otherwise, there'll be a coup on in Iran. don't know that I need to marshal plan. Coups with Suez. All right, so that's okay. I will Comic-Con. here. Well, why give him the extra? Why give him the extra influence? as well on the Comic-Con. I don't know that cooing South Africa was a good choice for him. Still haven't seen uh, CIA, so I'm going to hold on to the China card this round. He is minus one, which is always nice. Hopefully he's got a bunch of two cards. <clears throat> ah, crap. All right, so he's going to come in there. That's okay. I can probably still take care of that. Okay, there. If he goes for Egypt, I can just go ahead and uh, do Israel. 
<clears throat> He'd have to have a four card to do it, though. Three card will get him a rack and slow it down, but then I get Egypt, so there's that. Might even remain in abdication there. Although, you know, moving up into Africa wouldn't be a bad choice, but I think I can wait another turn on that. <clears throat> if I could hold socialists till next turn, that would be phenomenally good. So I can't play Warsaw Pact because he might have, well, I can actually. If he's got blockade, I'll just socialist it. But uh, it would be nice to hold it as well. Come on, dude, make a decision, even if it's wrong. <clears throat> it's only three points. Also, I haven't seen independent reds yet, so I think I will throw Romanian out there. And then if he destalls since CIA isn't out there, maybe a little bit further. Okay, must have it. There's the event. Kind of dangerous at this point to do that. Give me something to coup next time. Um, okay, I'll trigger that. Place that one here. <clears throat> and when Independent Reds comes out, that'll be good. And also CIA. Hopefully he'll have CIA. That'll be perfect. Okay, I'm going to invent that because it's only one point otherwise. I understand that, certainly. We'll score this for four. There's blockade. We will socialist blockade. I will uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and trigger the event. Can't hurt that bad. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and influence here. Yeah. And that'll be okay. You now have a CIA problem. I do want to take Turkey and break Asia dominance before the end of the turn. So I'll probably put one here. I haven't seen decal yet either. That's a dangerous card. And two here. That'll uh, help me out there. Well, I've only got two cards, so we get decision squad later.
much containment. Great, I get four. I'll trigger the event. We could take India, but then, in fact, we might do that. Might take India and Burma. Uh, it's only one on the on the list, but maybe I'll leave it empty. I can always take it next round. See where, see if I get IP war or not. All right, so what we want to do is we want to place at least one here, zero that out, put two here, take care of that, and um, where else do we want to go? Somewhere where we can't coo me, but if something happens, I can get out of there. So I think here is not a bad choice, and the reason for that is... Um, the ability to come back into South Africa if I have to, in case I get realigned out of there. So we're going to do that. Okay, let's hope I don't get CIA. I did get CIA. Well, that's unfortunate. So that won't come back until the very end. I did get this, which I can space, which is nice. I don't know. I'll have to worry about these two. But other than that, my hand really sucks. So maybe I do need to CIA get the coup in before he does. Nothing else will really help me all that much. He is just going to run rampant over here. I'm going to need some kind of access. All right, let's see what you got. Normally I wouldn't do this. I'd leave it in the deck, but uh, I don't want him to coup. I don't have anything else to bring it down with. If I had, say, duck and cover or something, I'd play that. <laughs> Air, headlines, Arab-Israeli wars. That helps him out. Okay, so he's got a lot of four cards. If I were him, I'd play that against that. So let's go ahead and coup. See if we can get Zaire back. We can. That works out okay. Now I've got to get into the Americas somehow. <clears throat> it's not going to be easy. Don't really want to play Nasser, so... What to do there? Spacing decal for sure. Holding socialists. Figuring out what I'm going to do with uh, Suez. <clears throat> See what he's got. Got uh, lots of decent cards for him. Can't really get in. He's just going to flesh out all of this now. That's that's the plan for him, I'm sure. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure that he does not have a scoring card, so I know that. So I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and... Um, let's go ahead and not lose this. There we go. I can place one in Burma, I mean uh, over here in uh, Botswana rather, and I can realign them out of there in a heartbeat. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> I've got to go ahead and place something into here. So the question is, so now the uh, big the big one is gone. Does he UN intervention US Japan? That'll be the question. Can drop some influence in. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Although not as much as putting those three here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop these guys because I know I'm getting independent reds, right? I mean, he's got that in his hand, doesn't he? Yeah. And then I can Truman it right after he plays it. It's going to be phenomenally awesome. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do this. Put one here and put one here, making sure that Asia isn't gone, and then we can realign him out of here. <clears throat> Okay, so he's played East European Unrest. He still has U.S. Japan Soviet Defense, uh, U.S. Japan Defense Pact, Independent Reds, Formosa, Special Relationship, and U.N. Intervention. All right, so what's he going to play next? What would I do if I were him? I'd probably put one in Zaire, <laughs> so that if I got realigned out, I could come back. I'm going to wait until he plays Special Relationship before I play Suez. If he plays <clears throat> Independent Reds, that's going to be two more victory points for me because I'll Truman it. He didn't do it. Okay, so what I need to do is, I, I'm okay with Nasser being played if I can realign in Angola. I'm a plus one, two, three, plus two, right? I wish my cards didn't suck so bad. There we go. So much for that one. Now I need to come down into Algeria. <clears throat> oh wait, he's still got a guy in South Africa. I'll just realign you right again if you do it, right? <clears throat> so the question is, do you want to put anything in Angola or do you want to take Egypt? Depends on what card you play here, my friend. The last one was Formosa. What are you going to do, my friend? What are you going to do? <coughs> I know you're going to play special relationship at one point. As you in an intervention, probably with U.S. Japan. Okay, so I'm going to space this guy because I need to wait. And I failed. 
That is too bad. I really wanted that. Now what? You got two cards left. You have left special relationship and independent rights. Okay, you spaced that one. All right. Well, since you spaced it, let me realign you again. And then the last but not least, I will play Suez Crisis. And uh, you've got special relationships, so you can go ahead and play that now. And I'll drop one in France. Okay, I'm just going to realign you right back out of there, my friend. I'm going to go here. We can go ahead and do this. And this time I'm also going to realign you out of South Africa. And hope you don't get De Gaulle <laughs> on turn four. That would be bad. Realign you here. Realign you here. And then realign you out of here. Perfect. That worked out well. <clears throat> okay, so that's going to be last. That'll come into play shortly. This is three victory points for him, so that's not a good play. Um, I think this is the play. Then followed by this. Let's play this one. Maybe I'll get lucky and get India. You never know. <coughs> Colonial rear guards will be fantastic. I'll drop them into here. <clears throat> Brezhnev is my last play. Arms race I'll take if I can get it. There's the gall. Damn it. I was kind of hoping that wasn't going to happen. That was the one thing I hope, was hoping was not going to happen. I was really hoping we didn't have the goal. Of course I'm going to have to jump on it. If uh, it's still available, right? There's no way I can give up Europe scoring. So we'll we'll see how that rolls. I can play the China card and then get it right back. <clears throat> and I think that's going to be my intention. I'm going to go ahead and take China. Got one, two, three. No, it's not going to matter, is it? Not going to matter over there. I can use it elsewhere. All right, he's going to throw it in there take it so that's going to leave me the coup okay 
All right, so where to queue, where to queue. Um, I don't really have good cards to queue with, to tell you the truth. I can give him the three victory points. That I need to play. That one I need to play. That's points. That one I can't play. So the only decent cue card I have is this one right here. Um, or I let him coup me. I need to get into Venezuela or Brazil or something. So do I give him the three victory points? Can't play that one. Can't let him do that either. He's asking. He might be asking because, well, I have it. Oh, this is killing me. Does he have it or does he not? Be five points, right? Hmm. I've got a I've got a coup. Him. Yeah, it's five points if he has it. He could be playing me. I'm gonna coup. Him. I get coup with less though. But then I won't get in. Right? So I need to get in. Attempt that coup. There we go. Even if I don't get there from here, it'll be worth it. Unless, of course, he has Europe scoring. In which case, not so much. But at least I am in South America. This will get me back into Central. This will give me three victory points. He's going to have to respond here. I'm going to space socialist this time. So I get to keep one. I might actually just play the China card into Brazil if he leaves it empty. And jumping into South Korea. Actually, I can jump into Taiwan. I'm going to do that at the end with Brezhnev if I have the option. Um, of course, he's going to play into Brazil and here. Yep. Oh, no. Okay. We'll play a vent here. He's protecting that against brush war at this point. Um, I got to put something probably into Greece and Canada. This is two victory points if I play it for the ops. Or, you know what? I'm going to hold the China card because I want to get into Taiwan. Okay, I understand that. Um, is this worth the victory points or is this a play? That is the question. Um, it's Asia, so there's that. It's 
We've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. I just got to take UK or Canada. Also love to be able to break Brazil at the end here. That would be good. This is good. I just got, I need to make sure that this is uh, neutralized here. I also need to have some presence in Central America before the next scoring card, uh, before the next turn in case the scoring card comes out. So this will be my next play. Oh no. Who knew? That wasn't as bad as it could have been. Um, en las condiciones de la inmensa mayoría de los países de América Latina. Hold on for a second. I could have played that for three points earlier, and I didn't. Maybe I should have. I'm not sure. But uh, for sure, let's neutralize that. I don't know if he was trying to get slick on me or what, but I would have probably used that over here on <clears throat> something other than he used it on. Uh, also, I need to bolster that by one at least. It's my last play, so it's this one. This one and then that one. No, I'm glad I did that. Let's space this guy. Let's get him out of there. Epic failure. I am blowing up on the pad. Cape Canaveral is not doing its job. I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and uh, place two here and neutralize this. I kind of need to make him do something even if it's wrong, right? I need him to react. So putting one in Brazil wouldn't suck, but I think I need to put the two in Mexico, although then he can coup it. Although right now it's worth what? To him it's worth one, two, three. That's not, that's not terrible. I'm okay with that. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we gotta stop that from happening, so we just need to put one influence in there. And then let's talk about See, the problem is that if he, if I let him, if I put that there and he coos it, then he can realign me out of there. So I've got two more. I need to make him react. 
So if worse comes to worse, he goes here. Let's do that. I can always get in here after the fact. No South America scoring, which I kind of just want to get rid of right off the bat. But maybe I can get lucky, right? Maybe I can get lucky with grain sales. Wouldn't that be something? So I could bring salt up, get a card back. I might get grain sales back. Hmm. Quagmire's got to be spaced, no doubt about it. If I had more shitty cards, then I might consider it, but... Getting grain cells back and playing it back to back would be quite the feat. I'd steal a second card from him. And I have not yet seen duck and cover. Junta. Well, that's not good. Shuttle diplomacy. We're going to attempt the coup. In Brazil. And I will fail. That's unfortunate. But I did drop the DEFCON, <clears throat> which means he won't get the coup twice. He'll realign, then he'll cover down here. If I were him, I'd put it right there and realign me right out of Venezuela. Also giving him, but he's probably going to put it in Panama or Mexico. But if I were him, I'd put it here and I'd have domination realign me out. Um, that that coup failed really sucked. That would have been awesome if I had gotten that. No, he's gone there. Okay. That's a tough one to one. All right. Central America scoring would be really shitty. Uh, Panama Canal returns is played next. He's got to cover down on this. You know, the other thing we haven't seen yet is uh, well, gunmen. I got to worry about that one too. You've got it. You should play it. Central America scoring is worth five for you now. So you, you must not have it, or it would already be played. I, 
I'm going to play South America scoring as soon as I can. I'll tell you that. Could hold Quagmire to turn seven. Space South African unrest, that might be a better choice. He's got to play everything at this point. This dot has not been played, right? Okay, so do I cue this thing? I think I do. And hopefully get lucky. But first, you know, was he going for extra points? Was he going for the extra points? I don't know. Let's just uh, figure that out. We'll attempt the cue with Kitchen Debates. Give me a six. I failed. Epic failure. Epic! <clears throat> that might have been a mistake. I might have to go OAS now into Panama. <laughs> yeah, no, it wasn't a mistake. He had it. I should have OAS into Panama from the beginning. But that I rolled a, you know, what are you going to do? Roll a one? Of course I roll a one. That's what I do. What I roll over here? I rolled a one because that's how I roll. Europe scoring is not much. I'm glad I thought I covered down on that. He's getting lots of points though. Um, I will space race South African unrest. Ask what you can do for your country. These are all scored. Africa is the big thing left. How do I get them out of Africa? Hmm. I just coo that. <clears throat> if I coo it, then he's got a realignment. No, he doesn't have a realignment problem.
Hmm. Well, that hasn't scored yet either. You must play all your cards, so... That's six points back when that happens in its current configuration. So is it worth doing that and raising the DEF CON? I don't know. That's definitely my next play. That's definitely not a play. Might have to save this if I get... Well, I can't save it. Oh no. Well, that answered that question. Hmm. I wish I had played this earlier. Oh, that's not good. That's bad. <clears throat> that's the only thing you got. What you got for turn seven? I go here and here, I threaten realignment. <clears throat> that might be the way to go. Although I can just coup that. So, no. I'd much rather put one in Brazil and put one in uh, Panama or put one in Brazil and put one in Mexico, right? I think that's going to be the play. So, Mexico, Brazil and Mexico. <laughs> All right, I got Voice of America. That's going to be helpful. I've got the Yuseri River Squirmish, also going to be helpful. Hmm. I 
I'd really like to bring the DEF CON down. I don't know that I can this turn. You might have duck and cover. So we could play five year plan and go ahead and remove something. But this will make you react bigger than Stuttgart here because Asia has not scored. <clears throat> I only want to hold this till turn seven and get rid of it then. Um, it's dangerous if it stays in the deck. Oh yeah, perfect. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put one there. We're gonna put one there. Let's see. How come I don't have it yet? I should e easily have it. I got one. He's got one. <clears throat> Is there a better way to do that? So I've got one. Yeah, so there's no other way to do that, right? So I, or I could do one, two, three, and Four, <clears throat> take the five points. And that's going to come right back around again. So I'd really like to jump on South Korea if I can. That's something that I might play the, the card for. Our goal is not the victory of might, but the vindication of right. Not peace at the expense of freedom both peace and freedom here in this hemisphere and we hope you will likely coo something <clears throat> willing, that goal will be achieved. I'm guessing Nicaragua I could brush war Libya if you put stuff in there. I could brush war Brazil. I could brush war Mexico. So I've got lots of brush war options. <clears throat> if he doesn't coup, I probably need to take South Korea. He coups. Maybe he does coup. Uh, okay, that's okay. So now I can actually get in here and get this. Um, our man in Tehran. So we're going to get rid of flower power. We're going to get in, get rid of, we will bury you. I'm going to keep this in there just for giggles. Um, Flower power for sure. <laughs> we will bury you. And that'll be good. That'll be it. Okay, so he's cooed and he failed epically. So now, what can I do to get in there as rapidly as possible? Uh, one, one, two, that'll give me three if I take it. Do this. 
So why am I doing this? Because in the late war, um, there's a card that makes having South Korea pretty good, right? So there's that. Over here, let's, uh, let's also threaten North Korea. Why not? Yeah. Um, we'll add the extra one there. Okay. Now, because it comes back on turn seven, so we got to do that. There's no reason not to. Southeast Asia scoring still out there too. That's going to be huge, huge. Okay, he's going to throw some influence in there. All right, so I can uh, I can remove those and not worry about it. I can brush war one of these. Probably this one, because the other ones I can get back easier, right? So let's brush war Brazil. Play the event. Brush war Brazil. Oh, epic failure. What a bummer. That would have actually turned out really well had it worked. Um, that's still not a big deal to me if you think about it. If I do that, then I can realign. <laughs> Epic failure. Okay, so puppet governments is going to have to come in on that one. I should probably just realign Cuba as is. Get rid of this guy in Botswana. There's the event. Okay, so I guess it's time to realign. I gotta get lucky though. Probably be better if I threw some in there first. Um, could play Voice of America and just pull these guys out of there.
You might have Africa scoring in your hand. If I put this in there for three, <clears throat> Realigning him would not be terrible. Hmm. Kind of wanted to hold that till the end, you know? Getting him out of there now wouldn't suck. If I did this, I don't know. I kind of want to take a chance here and just uh, see if I can realign them. It's a plus two. And then I could try to realign him at a plus one. Let's do it. There we go. That worked. Let's get him too. this one. That's an even Steven. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay, but we uh, we took him back out of there fairly well. That was all right. <clears throat> and I can still Voice of America some guys out of here, so that'll be good. Puppets could come into Haiti, Nicaragua, and Guatemala. He can only coup one of them. And then I'll realign again. I think that's the play. Libya is definitely going to get Voice of America. Oh, no. Okay, I think I need to voice. Well, I can do this one. Take Panama back. Not let him get in there, for sure. He's had the cards, though. That's, that's good for him. There's Long Gunman. Yeah, that was bound to happen. I'm gonna have to coup that one or realign him out of there. 
think a coup would be appropriate. There we go. And last, I'll play Voice of America to get it back in the deck. The question is how best to play it. that out. That's okay. We're going to Voice of America. Uh, we will uh, take one out of Brazil. Take these two from here. Take one out of Mexico. And we're off. He's got to respond to multiple things. And I have Africa scoring, which is unfortunate. Um, but I do have three, so that should be fairly easy to deal with. Um, we're going to miss Lemby. Because I have duck and cover. And I got rid of We Will Bury You. So we'll play Missile MV and go from there. We'll Space Quagmire. Or we'll ask a knot. We'll see and hold ask not. Now let's miss Lindy it. <clears throat> now if he plays something that drops the DEF CON and he has duck and cover in his hand, I mean, I'm sorry, uh, ask, uh, tear down this wall, or what, what is the one? Hold on, I discarded it a while back. Um, we will bury you. If he has we will bury you in his hand, and I Missile Envy, and he plays Junta or something, then, well, Junta would be okay. Uh, but something else drops the DEFCON. Um, like uh, Cuban Missile Crisis. Then I'm host. But it's not going all that great for me anyway, so we'll see what happens. So I don't have a terrible hand. If I can get rid of Socialists for free, uh, space this, get rid of Socialists, then it won't be a terrible hand. Hold on to ask not. Could have played duck and cover, but the problem with that is that he doesn't need to coup, he just needs to add two. So I want him to coup or let me coup Nigeria. That'd be ideal. Especially since I have Africa scoring. And score on Africa. I'm good with that. Give me the points. Okay, so he's got multiple choices, so maybe. Okay. Um, it worked out for an additional point for me. He's going to coup with two. Flip that. Which I will now flip back, right? Um... I must. Now he could take it back. <clears throat> I'm still hoping to get the uh, domination here.
Oh, if I only had something to pull it out now. Three. And take it back. Hmm. So now I have the option to continue in this fight or to get Brazil. I think I'm just going to get Brazil. And I'll ask not on the other guys. I know you've got this, so you've got to suck down those. Um, I'll pop a government one, two, three here. I'm going to get rid of one, two, three cards there. Now you got Southeast Asia scoring. <clears throat> Hope you don't have five year plan again. This is uh, another six points for me. Gonna have to coup something, get my two victory points here. China card. Okay. Let's um guess I need to get rid of it now or do something even if it's wrong, right? Um, I could see if we can keep it. Try one more thing. If I go here, <clears throat> and he doesn't have another three card. He played the China card, so he may not. Then I can just play that for one and be okay. The other option is to play ask not and get rid of these guys. So... Um, Space Quag, this could be a zero. It would be a fairly shitty turn for me, though. And I might end up with Long Gunman. Let's try this. One, two, three. And we'll see how this turns out. If he coos Cameroon, I'm definitely going to go to space. And I'll try to Central America. I'll get rid of Cuba. Um, here's the coup. Is it Cameroon? It is. Nope, it's not. Look at that. All right. So let's go ahead and do this realignment here. You know, if I get lucky. Did not. I did. Okay, so we're back to that. <clears throat> and... Here. Did not get it. All right. So now I can play Africa scoring for zero or one point for me, maybe. Yep. I can space quag and just play that one out for nothing. That worked out okay. And I can save ask not. I know you've still got this to play. Unless you're going to five year plan it. Has that been out? Two, four, three, four, five. 
five, six. There are five-year plans we're gonna play. You're gonna be playing that. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and uh, score Africa. That one will not be back. Thank you. And a space quagmire and fail, of course, because that's what we do. Holding on to that to turn seven was not a bad plan. And then I can see what crappy cards we get on turn eight, and we might be able to ask not a bunch of them, which would be ideal. Get a whole, just a whole handful of their cards and get rid of them. And I have the China card. That's phenomenally good. Question is, what's he going to pull with socialist governments? He can only pull two, so <clears throat> I don't know that uh, that's going to be terrible. I might have to repair everything because I wouldn't want him to have uh, a card that hurts Europe scoring. Okay, dude, you got two cards. Figure it out. coming. It's back in the deck. Oh, he's space racing P Pope. I'm going to go ahead and trigger that and let you figure it out. Not too much concerned about Libya. It could be a victory point for me if he gets it. Also, I could just dump one into Israel and that would be okay. Um, so where do you pull from? Here, here, and here. Okay, I guess I'm going to replace it. That ends turn seven. That's kind of a wash. <laughs> All right, so I've got Glasnost. I've got a whole bunch of his cards. Oh, yeah. Let's just uh, go ahead and... Let's go ahead and do this now. Let's just get rid of one... One, two, three, four, five of his cards, including Lone Gunman. U2 incident isn't quite so bad. I might keep that one. It's just a, a victory point, but it's three ops. Okay, that hurts. So I definitely will keep that one, because at least that's two ops. You're going away. <clears throat> You're going away. Do I get rid of Glasnost too at this point? It's two victory points for him. But it allows me to coup back. I might keep it. Wouldn't want a bunch of one-ops cards right now, so we'll just call that good. I'll give him three victory points, but I'll keep the ops. Okay, so there's Star Wars. Oh, but I have to be in the lead. That's too bad. That ain't going to happen. Okay, so I do have grain sales, which is nice. I can hold that till next turn. These are one-ops cards. I should Cuban Missile Crisis him and then just go ahead and start wrapping these guys up. Okay, there's the big coup. And he gets it. All 
I think I need to take uh, this card here and go ahead and cue Columbia. <clears throat> he might have something here, so... All right, bring the DEFCON up and go after Argentina. I got to coup that. Do with Evil Empire. Barely. Yeah, but I got two ops out of it. Two mil ops. <clears throat> now, he can easily put something there, which means... I would have to put something somewhere else again. Guatemala's next. I wouldn't mind playing all eight. This is dangerous to play. <clears throat> well, not really, because I can return it. But I can pull a card from him, and then he'd have to play all his cards. So if he has a DEFCON suicide card, what came out in turn seven? Duck and cover was turn seven, so there's no DEFCON suicide left. Fail. That's okay. I'm good with that. I don't want to hold that till next turn. Do I try to coup Argentina? The totalitarian world produces backwardness because it does such violence to the spirit, thwarting the human impulse to create to enjoy, to worship. <clears throat> Two victory points to get into Argentina. Not a bad thing. I dropped two into Uruguay. or Paraguay, depending. <clears throat> I'm just going to make sure that uh, there's... Oh, he's going to play it. Look at that. Okay, makes sense. Why not? Um, let's go here. It's keeping them busy anyway. I mean, I'm good with that. Keeping them busy. Oh, we're definitely going to coup that again. Oh, I failed. Oh, that's epic failure. Oh, I hate that when that happens. Now he's got it. He can score it and or realign me out. Score it. Good score. I'll need to coup this. There we go. Should have done that last time. Yeah. 
wish that was the last coup. We'll play this one last just so to make sure he doesn't have unit intervention. Um, but I'm thinking to go here. I could do this now. Yeah, this is where it's at right here. Now, what do you got for your last card? Because I'm realigning Cuba. At plus two. Now he's going to give me the point. And I'm going to go ahead and take that back. Um, I'm going to go ahead and force him to get back in there. Get that victory point for you. Back to zero, and we are all even going into turn nine. Look at that. And I got Europe scoring, which sucks ass. Yeah, for sure. Okay, we can get rid of Europe scoring at the end. Or I can get rid of OPEC. Tear down this wall. is nice and I can make a realignment. He's got two, I've got three, maybe I can get some stuff in there. Also, East European unrest does not suck. <laughs> let's tear down this wall. Sure, let's do that. I just need one good roll. This one's inconsequential. This one I can play last. This one I can get rid of these one, two, one, two points. It's only two. I can make it one probably. But I might as well get rid of stuff while I can. And the free coup would allow me to drop the DEF CON. So there's that. <laughs> if I don't do well, I can space this and Aldridge Europe. Okay. Let's attempt a coup. I guess in France. Or I could realign it plus one. Realign a plus one or coup and bring the DEFCON down. That is the question. The totalitarian world I really don't want him to coup. So, it does let's do it. To the the to Six me. Oh, awesome sauce. <clears throat> 
We'll have to put stuff back in the France. And if he does, I realign him out of Central America. I know, right? I K R. So now you got a choice. Yeah. I was thinking realign too. Realign, but didn't want you to queue. I should probably tell him. By the way, I am recording. And you can watch this later. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and play this. Okay, he's going to throw that in there. Because he must. All right, so. I can East European unrest and get rid of a bunch of stuff. Doesn't really help me. It's powerful, but it doesn't do a lot for me. He's got to replace Germany, that's about it. But if I realign, Plus two. Let's do a realignment over here. There we go. Yeah, it'll work. And I don't mind jumping in there. I got I can space that thing all day long. So now I'm jumping into Cuba. Then I'm going to cue this bad boy. I'll space him and I'll Aldridge Europe. <laughs> Nick each. Nick each. I was in the Czech Republic a couple of years back. Loved it. Let's see here. We're even Steven. I am going to coo something. I do want to pull one of his cards. Which will require him to play everything. So we're so close right now. Such a close game. He's trying to figure out, how do I get around this? How do I do this? Do I, do I coup Nicaragua? What do I do? <clears throat> That's what he's trying to figure out right now. He's going to coup Nicaragua. No, nope, he's going to coup Colombia. All right. Well, <clears throat> good for you. I'm gonna go ahead and take. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take rain sails and play it. Independent reds, awesome. Oh, 
prog. We'll play some influence. So I'm going to put. Um, One in here. Oh, wait. I could just Cuguatemala and realign you out of there. It was wonderful. Then we went to Slovak <coughs> Republic, Bratislava. Stayed in hostels. that back uh, but I made him do something right so that was okay uh, we're gonna go ahead and slide on into there and we don't have to do that just yet um, let's play Allende give him his point back and make sure nothing happens there Fort Worth area. Okay, so I can make him react here with East European unrest, or I can just take Cuba. I think that's probably the better choice. <clears throat> Of course, with OPEC, I could do both and give him two victory points. I'm glad he used that because terrorism would suck. <laughs> okay, there's Central America scoring. He gets a couple of points there. One. That's not so bad. Um, I should have went ahead and jumped in it, right? Probably. Uh, okay, four. Let's just space this one, shall we? Tear down this wall. Two points I don't want to give him. Kind of want to coup Guatemala again, which I will probably do with this card, and then we'll see what we're going to do with East European Unrest, and then we'll Aldrich Europe. <clears throat> or if something good happens, and I can get a victory point out of it, maybe I play East European Unrest and Europe scoring. can also do that. Gonna coup with one. Fails. Okay. 
So let's coo first. All right, that worked. I think I realigned you out of Mexico too, buddy. You've got to go to Nicaragua now. You must. You must. You must increase your bust. Ooh. Come visit. I have a guest room. But you must play some games here too. Yeah, just come on down. I'd love to have people from other countries come and visit me and hang out in my game room, play some games every now and again while they're out and about doing other stuff in America. There's terrorism. Whew, I'm glad he didn't do what I thought he was going to do. All right, so that was not all that great. <clears throat> I can do that again one more time. Or let's play the event. You never know. Maybe I'll get lucky. Now you're going to have to make a decision squad later. And then if I can keep that one for the next turn to drop off something I don't like, that'd be great. So right now it's a point. No, it's even Steven. Look at that. But you won't be getting domination anytime soon. I can coup this at the end. <clears throat> and then that will suck for you. So it's either play it or play Aldridge, depending on what he does. Not really interested in giving up another point. Um, oh, I played Yuri and Samantha, so I'm not cooing anymore. So I'm either dropping into Cuba. Hmm. Yeah, he's thinking long, think wrong, buddy. This is probably one of the longest games I've played. So I've been two hours already. Hey, what's the, uh, what is this game ID? So for turn 10 right now, I've got one in Africa which will probably even out with one for Europe. So that'll be even Steven. We've got six here. And uh, he's got two there. And this will likely be a wash. So as it stands right now, and this is a wash, but I'll probably pick up Libya. Um, in fact, I might do that now at the end here. I can jump in here, pick up Libya and Israel. Probably a good move, because if he coos Egypt, then I can't get back here. Oh, look at that. He thought long and hard about that one. He was saving that one to the end. 
All right, so I'm definitely playing this one. How am I going to do this? I think it's here and here. You must discard, right? <laughs> choice. Just discard it. All right, so we have lots to do here. Ranarak War is not a bad choice. This is going to get spaced or held. It's the last turn. Uh, we could headline this and threaten that. Che is really terrible. Might have to hold that one as well. So, the only thing I can see that would be worth its while would be to headline this and threaten France. Because if I don't do that, he's going to coup, and I got nothing to bring the DEFCON down. So let's do that. It's NATO anyway, so that'll be good. <coughs> Can't do much to stop it either. When was Muslim Revolution last played? It was not. Okay, it's good to know. Muslim Revolution could hurt me fairly well here, so I gotta be careful. This is definitely going to be the play because he's only got one there, so five or six does it. <laughs> Maybe. Um, don't really need it. Is this anywhere in Europe? Any Western European, so it'll be here. will be in France. <clears throat> so my biggest card is a three card. It's not good for the last turn of the game, although I could use a China card and I may have to, which means I can hold both of these. So we'll see till the end on that one. The Rand Contra realignments can be iffy hmm. 
I need to get to Peru before he does. <clears throat> Oh no, he's salting. What's he gonna pull? ABM, wow. That's a big one. Okay. So what are you gonna do there? You gonna coup Italy? Better coup something. Right now I can take the China card and jump on that and take it and I will if you coup something. And if you don't, I'm realigning you. So what's your plan, big dog? Who's your minus one? Realignments are currently not. So, he will throw influence in. And now I must realign him. Just no way around it, right? So, let's uh, realign with this. Maybe I'll get lucky. Perfect. Do it again. Yes. Oh, that was beautiful. That was a thing of beauty. Beauty. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> ah, I think that just won me the game. How phenomenal is that? <laughs> so, were you going to try to turn the tide? Yeah. I wouldn't have had line salt to take DEFCON two five with special relationship as my headline. That might have been Nah, I'm not going to write that, but that was definitely suboptimal. Okay, he's going to coup, give me two victory points. I'll take it. Awesome. Um, I'm going to go ahead and replace that. Throw one in there. And if you coup again, then I'll coup this one over here. I also have a war card I can use if I must. Because Kuhn kind of sucks right now at minus one. Now with this being five, this being six, that's 11. I should be able to get into here and well, even if I don't, it doesn't matter. The only way I'm going to go in there is if he uh, coos one of these two. <clears throat> the totalitarian world produces backwardness because it does such violence to the spirit. 
One of these must be resolved. Well, what do you get there? Interesting. Think long, think wrong, my friend. Think wrong, long, think wrong. He probably has some shitty cards in his hand. Um, can't figure out what to do with them. Trying to figure out a way of out of his shit sandwich at the moment. <clears throat> the totalitarian world produces backwardness because it does such violence to the spirit supporting the human impulse to create, to enjoy, to worship. Hmm. I, mean, I don't know what his cards are, but um, minus one always sucks. Basically, you're coming with a one card when you coup with a two card. He's going to coup with a four card. All right, what are you going to do? Well, that'll do it. So I will go ahead and coup with this, and then he's going to come back. But at least I'll get my mill ops. And now I'll come back with the other one and coup here. And then I'll put at least one guy in there in case he realigns me out. So there's that. So I don't need a ran Iraq war, <clears throat> although uh, it's a 33% chance of five or six that uh, there's event. It's going to try to get that back. You might, I don't even know why he's going after that because it's just not worth it. Okay, we're going to place one here and one here. Yeah, an awful lot of cards left, dude. Because you did, uh, you pulled. <laughs> I can always get back here now, so that's not a problem. All coups are minus one, so playing Che wouldn't necessarily suck. Right? Um... It could hurt, though. It could hurt. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. I think that was too many ops expended there. Um, there's three victory points. No, I failed. Okay. So now I need to probably space something. And then I can decide whether or not I want to play chair. Now I don't have to, I don't have to do that. Let me think. What could I do that will cause some consternation? Well, playing a two card doesn't really do anything for me. Yeah, that's what I meant. Well, I can go coup this. <clears throat> make him think I'm going to realign. That's probably worthwhile doing. 
keeping him on his toes and all. And minus one. And I fail. That was see, that wasn't a good move. Uh, no problem. I'll probably play the China card last. I can break Argentina if I need to. <clears throat> I can break Algeria. Um, probably just want to space something. Okay, maybe not. Future realignments are minus one. I'm not going to realign anymore, so it's no big deal. Let's go here and here. That's not enough. <clears throat> I need three. Do I want to let him coup everything? I do this, he gets two coups. For three points. Yeah, why not? Let's let him coup. I don't know, it seems like a silly thing for a couple of points, right? Um, you can always pick that up at the end. I mean, this right now is a one victory point. I'm not concerned about it. Let me know what you guys think. I, I think I made the right choice there, though. These two cards are both really shitty. I'd hate for him to, you know, coup twice in here and end up with domination. That would just blow chunks. So, um, yeah, there's that. What do you got for your last round? What do you got for your last round? Yeah, the coup on Guatemala was wasted. I shouldn't have bothered with that. That was a waste of two uh, influence points. Again, with the minus one, it just sucks all the way around. Um, you're not going to get me out of South Africa, so you're not going to, because you never did put anything else in Botswana. Oh, you're a bear trapped at the end. Nice. Oh, it got me out. That's okay. I'll put it back. I use a China card. Where else do you think you can have a successful realignment? Now you got to, you just got to go for it, right? Right here. That's not going to do anything. Here, maybe. Mm. We'll see. I'm just going to put one back here, and that's going to neutralize this. So what he should do is probably realign Peru. Or here and get lucky at minus two. No more easy ones. One more. Again, that's just one more point. That's five points. That's the same as Asia or Europe, so that's a wash. Um, I'm not even going to put anything back there. Probably I'm just going to put one in here. That's a victory point. Three here, that's domination. Um, 
So that'll uh, be more. If you could get me out of here, that would be a coup, right? So he's plus one. Now he went to the wrong spot. All right, so we're definitely going to be playing this card. Although at this point, yeah, we're definitely just going to play the China card. We'll put one here, neutralize that. We'll put one here, take domination there. I got two left. Um, I can break this, giving me domination up there. And that'll work. All right, nine more points. Done. GG. That was fun. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you've been gaming with the Colonel, like, subscribe, come back early and often. And for now, I'm out.